What's wrong with Chris Sale? Well, I, I think there's a lot to look forward to if you're the Boston Red Sox and Chris Sale. I know he's had a couple bad starts and he's looked bad. But in my opinion, I still feel like he might be in spring training. Obviously, they win the World Series last year. He gets pushed back. I think the first time he pitched off the mound in spring training was the middle of March. And obviously, the end of March is opening day. So I think with where Chris is right now, he's tinkering with everything. I know that Chris is a very prideful guy. He's going to figure this out. There's a reason why he got that big contract. There's no doubt about that. But I think if... If, if you're worried about something, I think the one thing that pops out to me is the fact that he's thrown almost 1,500 innings. And at the end of the day, an arm only has so many bullets. All right, but do the Red Sox get back to the World Series if Sale just has an average year? To the World Series? No. no. He, he's got to be impactful. He's because be they're built on starting pitching. I mean, that's where they've, they've spent all their money. You've seen what's going on with the bullpen. Kelly gone. And then... Um, the really Kimbrel, yep. you know, not back. So, out there. so, you know, they're basing everything on those starters. And if he's not one of those core guys and isn't impactful, I think they're going to have a tough time. I think they can get to the postseason, but I don't think they'll make any noise at all. And, you know, look, at it, Sale is going to have to, as Swish mentioned, he's going to have to reinvent himself. I watched today's game. He was throwing a ton of change-ups, yeah. a slider yeah. that barely got to 80, but th there was no... The fastball, he right. couldn't go to it at yeah. all. What, with 95, I think he hit, right? Was that yeah, one well, that's time? But he was, he was 90. It. They went up there. Like, how many times are you going to go up facing Chris Sale saying, I'm sitting soft? Yeah. And that's what they do. You sit soft yeah. because he can't throw a fastball by. Well, that's the thing. I've been in the batter's box against that guy. And when he's throwing upwards of 98, yeah, 99 miles an hour, literally tip your hat, good luck. But when he's sitting around 89 miles an hour, 92 miles an hour, that's a whole different yeah. click. That's when your chances of success go way yeah. up. Yeah, if he's healthy, I mean, he's sharp enough to reinvent himself. I think he's a guy who, who uh, can do that over time, and the Red Sox uh, will benefit. Meanwhile, Strasburg, we, we showed you the numbers, and you saw the frustration on, on his face. I can't believe it's been almost it's a decade uh, of, of pitching for him and a guy that they kind of babied along throughout the organization, careful with the amount of innings and, and, and pitching here. Um, uh, you know, let's let's talk about that at bat first, uh, about how he handled Harper or tried to when Bryce hit that home run. Yeah, I tell you what, I, I think Steven Strasburg, man, you, you got to expect a lot from this guy, right? I mean, there's a reason why he signed that seven-year, $175 million contract. Now, here you go right here. Bryce Harper in a huge position right now, runners on first and second, right? Misses on the first two pitches and goes to the pitch that Bryce struggles on the most, and that's the changeup. Through the first one in the same spot, second one in the same spot, third one in the same spot, went to the well one too many times. Strasburg needs to be able to mix up his pitches, especially if he's going to be pitching to big-time boppers in small ballparks. And we know uh, Scherzer is king, but but Eric, uh, to what degree can you count on uh, on Strasburg? Well, I, I think the Nationals, when they gave him that big contract, they said, we're counting on you. Mm -hmm. and, and he becomes, I wouldn't even say two, because when he's at his best, he's 1A. And if you say Scherzer and Strasburg, being healthy, I don't know that there's a better one-two combination in all of baseball. I mean, you could talk about Cole and Verlander, and, and maybe you go to Boston when sales right. And, and But I think right now, if, if I had to have two guys, you know, I, I put those two up with anybody. And Strasburg, look at, he's had some injury woes, but the guy will go out there. Remember, they set him down early on in his right. career for the playoffs. And that, that's crazy. I mean, they look yeah. back on that now and they go, what were yeah. we thinking? Right. Yeah. But try. He's as good as yeah. anybody. Well, the Washington Nationals, the strength of their squad has been their starting pitching, right? I mean, those two have anchored that rotation for a while, and now you bring over Patrick Corbin. You put them in a postseason. You're feeling pretty good. And if they get there, and, and Soto and Robles, as you mentioned, well, if they hang on, they'll get to 500, the Nationals. Mm -hmm.